Hi there, I'm Kat Corbett. We're at the K Rock Coachella House. We have LP and Killer Mike from Run the Jewels. Hey, how are you? Thank you. I've been dying to meet these boys. I feel like you need your own TV show. And <laughs> we're, we're working on it. All right, because <laughs> you are like, aside from the musical thing, every time I've seen you do something, you make me laugh my ass off. And I appreciate that. Thank you. Good. Bring <laughs> happiness into the world. Um, Run the Jewels. I actually discovered you guys um, on the Run the Jewels single, the, the track, Run the Jewels. And uh, my friend would just kept playing it over and I'm like, what the f what are you listening to? And he's, he's, he's like, filth. dude. And I'm like, oh my God. And then I couldn't stop listening to it. And I was like, I don't understand what is happening. And I, I had to go down. I went down the rabbit hole of, uh, of Run the Jewels. And uh, you guys have just had a phenomenal careers separately. And then you get together. How did you guys get together? Uh, Craigslist. <laughs> <laughs> Missed connections. Missed connections. You were selling a couch and Killer Mike I needed one. I saw you at a Wu Tang <laughs> yeah. show. You were a gigantic <laughs> Atlanta rapper. I was a white guy from Brooklyn. I saw uh, you. <laughs> we had a friend named Jason DeMarco who's an executive at Cartoon Network and is, just really loves dope music. Yeah. He was a friend of L and he was a friend of mine. And he was like, my two friends could probably make some cool music together. Are you, was that a friend because you do voiceovers for animation? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's we just not my friend for that reason. He's, no, he's we cool like went to his wedding. Places. You know, we're friends. Right. Yeah, like I was at his house eating catfish and biscuits that his wife cooked last week. Mm. Really good. Thanks, Jenny. I like it. <laughs> uh, for our K Rock audience, um, Travis Barker is playing drums with you guys. Yes. That yes. was supposed yes. to be a surprise, but Travis just spilled the beans. So, he yeah. did. Shout I know. Out Shout out to Travis. I know, but I think that's. We've, a got, a, we've got some other guests as well. That Do you really? Oh, yeah. But yeah. we can. All right, we no, won't th break Those that. will try and attempt to keep secret. I hate that we missed his um, um, ink convention, Ink and Cars, a couple weeks ago. Mm. Man. He, he, I hate I missed that. Do you have any? Oh, you do have ink. Yeah, you both I, have ink. Mr. Cartoon. Oh, yeah. Compliments to Mr. Cartoon and Trey out of New Orleans. Wait, is that a clown? God damn it. I Killer a, Mike. That kid, a, clowns scare the crap out of yeah, me. Yeah, I, yeah. Can't, <laughs> I have that clown a phobia. Cops thing. give I me the can't. same feeling. Is, is, that what, is, that, is that what it's called? Clown a phobia? <laughs> Duly noted. Touche. I, uh, I have a yin and yang dolphin uh, on my small of my back. And that Dennis Rodman's <laughs> son on your navel. Oh, <laughs> That's Jesus. right. You two are right. trouble. The um, 90s were crazy. <laughs> yeah. So Travis Barker playing drums. It seems like a perfect match. Uh, I've seen him play, you know, when he did the, uh, with, um, you know, playing with DJs before. So this seems like a perfect mix to, to well, play with you yeah, guys. Yeah, I mean, we did a song together. He's going to come out for that. He um, He's an amazing musician and, and someone that we're really just lucky to be friends with. He's a, just a genuine guy and he really loves hip hop music. So. He, he, him and Mike were friends, and yeah, uh, that's he, how I met him. I met him through Yellow Wolf. Like he and he and I are both like homies with Yellow Wolf and Yellow. We had known each other and shout, just shouted each other out via Twitter. But Wolf was like, "You two should know each other." Right. I got friends who think I should know other cool people, and Travis is cool, man. Shouts out to Cheese over there, famous, and Tim Millhouse over there. They just a great group of guys, man. And um, look for us to be doing more stuff with Trav, like for his stuff. That's awesome. I, you know, it just makes it, the process so much easier when everybody in their group is nice people. You it know? does. I, I know you guys know that. It's kind of our policy at this point. We just, we just, we be just do nice. stuff with cool people yeah. that we like and that we're genuine. Right. Yeah, it's fun. Now, I, Killer Mike, I know, like, I've read some about your background and, like, you know, have very strong opinions on a lot of issues that are out there today. I do believe Zeppelin is better than the Beatles. Absolutely. <laughs> that's, that's, I've and it's, called and it's, much and it's brave of you to bring with, it up. With that talking about Fox hot button. and CNN, I'll scream that to the death of yeah. me. I wanted to just, I just wanted to ask because you know, sometimes people are like, they love an artist and then sometimes they just are like, dude, I don't want to hear your stuff on stage about your political crap. I just want I just want you to play. How do you, that's well, I don't, we do. we I don't, I don't Kanye play. out on them. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I, every, I don't grandstand. That's not my intention. Okay. I just make dope music, and some of the dope music I make resonates at that time. Like when NWA said "F the police," the police had kicked my butt the week before, so the song made You're sense. Like, yeah. But when Too Short wrote "Paul and Janet," I really got interested in Menage a Trois. So <laughs> that's what music is supposed to do—just be appropriate for time. So I write just as much 
we do just as much stupid and irreverent stuff as stuff that makes sense sometimes. So I'm glad to say some stuff makes some sense, but I'm just a musician. I want to make cool stuff. And that interest never really died in you. Nah, I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm no, I, I with love it. that, you know, there needs to be powerful voices. I just know, like, you know, sometimes it's like you're watching a live show and you're like, dude, I don't care who you're voting yeah, for. I don't I preach. Just I just rap. Like, yeah. yeah. like we That's not our shows. live yeah, show. Yeah, you got to see our live show. Yeah. Our live show is akin to punk circa mid 80s like nice. yeah like we go for the gusto i'm not wasting time to talk we got a thrash hell yes <laughs> i want to go back to the stupid and irreverent for a second because yep. you did now tell me about meow the jewels it was a horrible idea that i had <laughs> <laughs> when i was really stoned white people and cats <laughs> we love them <laughs> we really love them so wait, did uh, it come no, out? it was a I terrible idea, and I'm. S it was a terrible, terrible idea, but I thought it was a joke. That was the thing. I just thought it was a joke. Basically, and they were going to release the record, re-release the record <laughs> with like cat sounds. Right? We yeah, were writing for forty out. grand. Like yeah. it's supposed to be. If you if you buy this Run the Jewels T-shirt for twenty bucks, you get a T-shirt. If you pay forty grand and twenty bucks, we'll remix our whole album <laughs> making cat sounds. And some kid getting stupid at home said, "Okay." <laughs> And set up a started a Kickstarter campaign, <laughs> now we're um, which 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 was which was where it all started to go downhill. And then and then uh, well, we reached out to him, and we kind of all decided that maybe there was something that we could do that was cool. It's obviously the stupidest idea in the world, and going to be the worst rap album ever made, <laughs> or the best. Uh, exactly, <laughs> but the cause is really good. We're going to give all the money that was raised um, and all the profits. Um, to victims of police brutality was just something that we thought was a yep. very See, worthy See, this is what I'm you saying. Know. Cats, we animals bring about on. justice and awesome things. So. Like we knew they would. Raise your paws. Yeah. Raise your paws for the cause. Raise your paws. Paws for the cause. I'm in. So we're doing it. Yeah. Um, and no. we got like the, we've got like the world's greatest producers uh, doing dude, this. Really? Just doing cat sound music. <laughs> yeah, which is really amazing and tragic. Needs to be. You're good. I mean, you have to go to the video. Route. There needs to be cats with lasers coming out. Trust of their me, eyes it's and on. It's all right, on. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I, I yeah. appreciate that. We're uh, gonna ride. We're gonna ride this uh, cat rap music until the wheels fall off, sister. <laughs> I loved that. Um, I didn't get to see the shows because they were on the East Coast. But you know, Jack White brought you on board to uh, open some shows and Madison Square Garden specifically. I yeah, like that had to have been kind of bonkers right i'm from i'm from brooklyn man. that's like basically yeah, it's ground i could zero. It, there's no other honor you know you you grow up dreaming of doing something like that and we did it and i and it was amazing and thank you to jack for that you know he's a fan of run the jewels and he's been really awesome to us and um he believed in us you know i mean he, he gave us the proper opening slot and we didn't know how that was gonna come off? We, you know, right. Jack White sells out his show no matter no matter who the opener is, and they didn't even announce us until after the show was sold out. So we didn't know. We were like, well, it could be the moment where we finally get booed <laughs> in the, in, no. the in my favorite place no. in the world. No, no. you know. No. Um, but it wasn't like that. It was a really great vibe, and we were so thankful for the experience. And so. Big, big, big love to Jack for that. I kind of feel, like, yeah, I kind of feel like when you're in a position of power like he is, it is almost your obligation to kind of turn people on to bands you love that may not have the recognition that he has. And so I certainly I is very cool of him. Yeah. I don't, you know, it wasn't something that either of us expected, but we were very honored to be a part of it. So. You like got the call that day and you were like, uh, what? Yeah, it was a little hard to compute. <laughs> there have been a few of those calls lately. <laughs> it was just like back up, start. So you said hello, then what did he say? You guys are doing K-Rock. We're doing K-Rock? Yeah. Yeah, I thought we were a rap group. No, no, no. You guys are doing K-Rock. Cool. So this is also one of those moments. This is why I love doing, when we do this house, is because, you know, obviously we're K-Rock and, you know, we kind of branch out in all different things, but it's an opportunity to have artists like you guys come by, be seen on the web, be seen by our listeners here, and just get to know you, and I think... Also, conversations when they, you know, when they like you. you Ain't know? this what it's you supposed guys are just to be? Likeable. Ain't this what Run DMC and the Beastie right? Boys did it for? Oh, come on! Everybody man. partying it together, wild and out. I'm just saying. Pause for the calls again. Pause for the calls. <laughs> Run the jewels. Uh, they go on stage at the Mojave Tent, 6:55 tonight. That's right. That's right. We'll see you all there. Thank you so much for uh, thank you. coming thank here. You. Thank you for having You're us. You're the cutest and so lovely, and <laughs> I you. love the world with you guys in it. Love. Thank you. I love it. Peace Pause out, up. everybody. Thank you guys for Pause having us at the house. house.